All right, so good afternoon to everybody, or well, good evening. I am the chocolate, and God is the thunder. Because of that, I'll never go under. All right, so I have me my favorite thing I like to eat from Burger King. Yep, you guessed it, Impossible Whopper. And I have my homemade honey mustard sauce. Okay, to, you got to watch it with these Dollar Tree. I will never buy another Dollar Tree condiment dispenser again. So, we about to eat. Got me a big old Dr. Pepper. Ooh, glory. All right. It's time to eat, y'all. Lord, thank you for this food in Jesus' name. I give you glory, grace, and honor. Lord, bless those who don't have a meal right now. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. I thank you. Be the Jehovah Jireh that you always are. Thank your Father, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, their provider. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So, let's try some heat trial. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What's Teddy Pendergrass say? Gotta let it go. And it looks like another love TKO. You know, that's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. Ladies, you ladies who are single, watch yourselves out here. Don't get yourselves caught up in no val entanglement. <laughs> mm. Let me tell y'all what happened to me. Okay, so when I was in my 20s, before I had children, mm, 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 mm. like I said, before I had children, I was dating this guy, mm -hmm. this guy, this man. Oh. I met him before Valentine's Day, like about a month, or maybe two before, so... He, it was a nice guy. He was all right. Okay. So, you know, well, you don't know. I'm going to call clown that you know stuff. But anyway. Who was like, right. when he met me, he was like, you know what? We just need to get married, me and you. He was like, he was like, I ain't marrying you. And he was like, yeah, we need to get married. Like, so, you know, I had some kind of suspicions about him a little bit. I'm going to call y'all wild. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. He had took me to the movies. And um, we went to see Scary Movie, I think, or Scary Movie 2. Not Scary Movie, Scream. I think it was Scream. I think that's what it was. Mm, let me take a bite of this burger. I'm going to bite this down. I'm going to bite it. Anyway. I told the guy at DoorDash when he dropped my food off. I said, I'm going to stuff my fat face. He started laughing. <laughs> anyway. This mm is mm 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 if you don't ask them to put cheese on it, they will not put cheese on it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, let me get back to the story. So, Took me to the movies. And we was at the movie and everything. And we paid the 
video game, got some snacks, some popcorn, stuff like that. And ladies, this is a signal right here. You have the movies with a guy, and he's gonna take that home, his hand, and put it down your blouse. That's your time. If you don't have a car, that's your time to say you gotta go to the bathroom. Go in the bathroom, call your cab, and leave. Because he only want one thing. He want to have a valent entanglement with you, and that's it. So, anyway. Or an entanglement, period. Anyway. So, I finally took his hand and put it out of my shirt. I didn't invite him to put his hands down my shirt, so he had no business putting his hands in my shirt. He wasn't invited. Well, anywho. So, you know, we had the movies. Everything's okay. Things are going nice. And, um, he was taking me home. He gave me that look. He was a nice guy. And I loved him so much. I ain't gonna lie. Um, he gave me that look. Well, I didn't love him when I first met him. I grew to love him as I knew him. He was just one of those guys that he just really made my heart smile. Even though, you know, he had some ways about him that I did not like. But he still had a way of just making my heart smile. Anyway, he was tall. He was, he was good looking because back then... I only dated good looking guys. I was very superficial at the time. So, looks was a big deal to me back then. And he fit in the number. So, anyway, excuse me. He just had this funny laugh about me, though. So, anyhow, you know, when you go out on a date with a guy, most guys are going to ask you for a kiss. They do that. Mm hmm. And you gotta pay attention to that. Like, if a girl that you're dating, especially if it's a first day, and he wanna, you know, he wanna a kiss from you, and he wanna, he try to push his tongue down your throat and all this kind of jaw, girl. All he want from you is a one night stand. Yep. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hmm. He didn't get no one night stand from me. Mm-mm. Sure didn't. Sure didn't. I did give him a kiss though. So we are talking. He's introducing me to his family. You know, these type of guy always have that one cousin that's down with them when it comes to their dirt. They always have that one cousin. And he he had that. He had this one cousin that he we, he introduced me and introduced me to his cousin's family and they were really close to him. So anyway, so we 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 going out. He's calling me on the phone. You know, baby, I love you so much. All of this, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how some of them types of men do, some of them type of men folks do. So let me get to the nitty gritty. Y'all want me to get to the nitty gritty, don't y'all? I know y'all do. Wait a minute, hold on. Is that the provolone cheese? What's this? I don't like when food be looking funny. No. Anyway. Don't look too funny. Because if it did, I ain't going to eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We call sloppy burger. So, Valentine's Day came, right? So, this is about two months later about that. Valentine's Day came. So, well, before Valentine's Day, he was telling me all this stuff he gonna do for me. He gonna come and get me. And he was just, he was just telling me all this type of stuff. You know, a man 
who tells you too much of what he's going to do and what he's going to plan to do, gotta watch out for that. Because some men be lying like H-E double hockey sticks. They be lying there behind them. They ain't going to do nothing. So, anyway, y'all. So, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I'm young. So, I'm like, oh, okay. We're going to go out and everything. So, I went and bought this fly outfit. It was bad. It was velour. It was a skirt, a, like a dress outfit. It was velour. I got it from Jamaica Avenue. It was velour. It had like fur across the top. I was much slimmer. So it was going to look fly on me. Oh, I was going to look so good. So I'm like, okay. I was like, all right. So, you know, I'm getting ready. I'm at work. I'm like telling my best friend, like, yep. My man gonna come and get me. He's gonna take me out. We're gonna have a nice time. And it's gonna be so beautiful. I'm like, yeah, girl. And so I knew something was funny. Because he wasn't calling me. So I'm like, come call. Okay, I'm not calling. Alright, hold on. <laughs> mm mm mm. Mm. So. That was a sign right there. Mm. But I'm like, okay, you know, maybe you know what happened. So I'm like, I don't care as long as he come get me, as long as the plans go like they supposed to. So a couple of minutes went by, I got off of work, a couple of minutes went by. I didn't see him. Five minutes went by, come in. That fool stood me up. I was so mad. Mm -mm. I was so mad. I was like, mm mm. I was like, this right here? No. Mm mm. I was like, no, no. Never continue any kind of relationship with a man, ladies, that stand you up. Because it just says a lot about his character. It does. It says a lot about his character, especially he don't call and he know you waiting and stuff. Mm -mm. It just says a lot about his character. And I'm going to tell you ladies something. When you're dating a guy and it's like, um, you know, don't be doing too much. Don't be doing too much. Well, I'm talking about, I'm talking about getting intimate. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now, I don't fornicate anymore, but that don't mean I'm no born-again virgin. Only born-again virgins there are, are the virgins that done got baptized. That's it. Just because a woman, uh, the Lord delivered her from fornication and she's, you know, celibate, that don't make her no born-again virgin. So what am I saying? I'm not promoting fornication, but it's not, uh, not every woman has gotten to that place of practicing celibacy. I judge no one. What I'm saying is, when you date in a car, be very mindful when making the decision to intimately join yourself with him and become one. Be mindful of this. Extremely mindful. Because, let me tell you something. If you're giving it up to him before Valentine's Day, he might ghost you. I'm telling you the truth. If you're giving it up, you're putting it on him. Now, I'm going to talk real because I'm grown. I'm grown, grown. And you're putting it on him. And y'all just dating. You're putting it on him before Valentine's Day. You're putting it on him. Yeah, putting them on the yeah. Backing it up, backing it down, twerking, whatever. Whatever you're doing. Putting it on them. You better be mindful that when Valentine's Day come, he don't go ghost on you. Because some of these guys do that. Because they already got what they want. They got the good good. They got the good good. So, with some of these guys being as they got the good good, they, ooh, excuse me, they feel when Valentine's Day come, they ain't got to do nothing for you. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you what I know. So, anyway, that fool 
stood me up and had the nerve to tell me that he was in jail. He said he was in jail. Had his cousin, that, that one cousin, that one cousin, he had called me and say he was in jail. And he got put in jail. He was a bit more in jail than a man on the moon. That man most likely was with another woman. That's what he was doing. That's exactly what most likely was going on. Because he called my cousin. Maybe two days later talking about he was in jail. His cousin, he has cousin called me because he knew if he would have called me, he knew he would have got cussed out. From amazing grace to the sweet of the sound. So he had his cousin do it. He said he was locked up. He said, he said, uh, such and such, I just want you to know he loves you so much. He was locked up. He wasn't locked up. Mm -mm. How I know. I had his name, date of birth, and everything. You know I'm a woman. I called. I called the precincts. I called a couple of them and asked questions. And at this time, they wasn't big on privacy like that. So I asked some questions. They was like, no, no, no. That man wasn't in no jail. Ladies, if he ghosts you and tell you he was in jail, you better not believe that mess. That mess. It seems like on Valentine's Day, that's the biggest day of the year where a lot of men get locked up. That most of, and a lot of men that say they get locked up on Valentine's Day is lying. They is lying. Ain't bit more locked up than a man on the moon. Locked up with another woman. Locked up, that's it, locked up. Locked up in some kinky handcuffs or something. So what I'm saying, ladies, is just, you know, be mindful. You got to be mindful. I bought that fool, Jean-Paul Gutierrez Cologne, because he loved it. I took it back. Sure enough, did. I took it right back to the store. I was like, I ain't giving him nothing. I took it right back to the store and bought my own perfume. I bought Jean-Paul Gaultier for women. Sure enough, did. So, ladies, just be mindful. Don't be out here if you're dating. Don't be out here giving and putting it down. Don't, don't do it. You're setting yourself up to be ghosts. He's going to ghost you. Mm-hmm. You got to watch some of these guys out here. I ain't man bashing, but I'm telling the truth. You got to watch some of these men out here. They be they be scheming on women. So don't do it to yourself, Slate. Don't do it. Don't do it. Like I said, everybody's not practicing celibacy. this season. I judge no one. Be very mindful when you deciding to become one way. It's the truth anyhow. Mm 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 mm. Mm, that's my story time. <laughs> and for a while, I couldn't stand Valentine's Day because of that happening to me. I couldn't stand it, but I got over that mess. I got over that mess. And I've had very good Valentine's Days ever since then. Not with that guy. No, not with him. He went on to be with he went on to be with the Lord a long time ago. So But when I think of Valentine's Day, I do think of him. <laughs> I do. I really do. But um yeah, after that incident, you know, he still has some hiccups, but he was a nice guy. Mm, but we broke up. Mm -hmm. We broke up. Because I wasn't with. Mm -mm. I couldn't be that other woman. Mm -mm. Nope. I couldn't be that other woman. Anyway, changing faces. You know they got that song, Can't Be That Other Woman. You know they got that other song too. We're fooling, fooling around, fooling around, fooling, fooling around. Mm -mm. I ain't fooling around with nobody. Ain't nobody fooling around with me. Mm -mm. That mess. Amen. 
So that's my story time, y'all. So ladies, if you ever got stood up on Valentine's Day, don't feel bad. It's happened to more women than you than you think. All right. Well, I'm going to try to finish this burger. I know y'all want me to finish the last part. I know y'all do. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-